Well, having solved the uh, week's ca cultural catastrophes, it's time to welcome uh, to the Prince Charles a woman whose handiwork with a fender base, well, let's face it, the world has admired from a very careful distance yes. for the best part of 25 years. Nissan Cedrics, can you slip into the leathers, throw a leg over the throbbing Harley, and as you can the can, can you simply burst the blister on the Susie Quattro story? <laughs> Boys. Yes, Susie. <laughs> Look, uh, you've got a new compile out, or maybe, <clears throat> you know, there is a new compile out. How many compilations of your hits have there been? Oh, my God. Would we be into the 30s yet? I think so. Yes. I think so. There's so many, it's ridiculous. What say do you have in the issuing of compilations? Oh, not a lot. No. <laughs> unless, no. unless you were smart enough to own all the masters, which, unfortunately, I didn't... You know, i got to say this, now that you brought this subject up, we're going to get serious just for a second. Mm. My motivation is not money, and it never has been, so therefore I didn't do the greatest deals that I should have done. My motivation was just to get to as many people as possible. Yes. Fame, in other words. Yes. So I didn't yes. always do the right thing business-wise, but I'm still here, you know. Yes. So. Now, you've been to Australia. This was where I was going, actually, now okay. that I think about it. You've okay. been to Australia 14 <laughs> times. Do you ever talk? 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> He's far more eloquent in his silence than I can be with my talk. I know, I know his sign already, too. He's a Pisces. Anyway, go ahead. Yes, yes. Keep going with this. Uh, many trips to Australia. Yes. Oh, what draws 14. you back to the great southern land? It was my first, um, oh, gosh, I guess the first time I realized that I, I had reached my goal. I went down there, and the bikies met me at the airport, and there right. were thousands of people at the shows, and it was like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't go out the hotel, and it was like, oh, this is what I've been waiting for all my life. Yes. So you'd, it's got special memories for me. Yes. You'd be one of the few performers outside Australia who'd say that going to Australia was their goal. But well, not going to Australia. Not going to Australia, but being... being Fated being in that way. Famous, yeah, yes. Know, which I always wanted to be, yeah. Yes. Susie... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, I'm I read, thrilled. Uh, no, I, I read where uh, Elvis Presley, uh, the king, uh, was so impressed with your version of All Shook Up, he requested that you meet him. And uh, you you didn't meet him. You refused. I'm such a Why? Teacher. Why did you knock back the king? Because he's a very he I was know. a very attractive he was fit gorgeous. man. Yeah, gorgeous, a fit man. Yeah, yeah very, very fit. fit. Why, was, why, why, was why didn't you go and meet the king? I was. I I couldn't meet my hero. Maybe yes. I didn't want to be disappointed. Do you think you would have been? I don't know, but I had him so so big in my mind. You know, yes. I regret it now. Dreadfully. I wish I'd known that he wasn't going to be around. I would have gone. But it kind of scared me. Yes. yes. How did he make the request? You're how getting did... closer as you're talking. Yes, I am. I'm okay. starting to get more interested. Okay. Okay. Now, tell me. How... Am, I draw... <laughs> am I drawing you in now? Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. yes. We'll end up very close in a few minutes' okay, time. <laughs> how did it end? How... Who's going to get the video rights to this? That's what I want to know. How did he make the request? Did he phone you up? He phoned up my publicist and said, would you please invite Susie over to meet me? Because yes. her version of All Shook Up is the best since my own. He did say that. Right. So I said no. Right. The, the biggest regret of my life that, well... Would you be one of very few people other than not to actually, you, uh, thing, yeah. you know, knock back the king? Uh, I would be one of the few that didn't meet him? Yeah, the, well, that knocked back a request of the king. Yeah, I'm stupid. Very stupid, I, I would can't, have Excuse me. <clears throat> Well, it's your call. <laughs> no, I can't believe that I did yeah. that. I, I wish I had it to do again. Now, when I read as well, when you uh, were auditioning for Happy Days, yes. the first time you were on the set, and yeah. the first time you met Henry Winkler, whom, uh, from a reasonable distance, I've had a reasonable, uh, reasonable amount of respect for, all he was interested in was your bum. <laughs> is this the case? That is the case. Well, I find that terribly disappointing. Well, I'm kind of used to it. Oh. I am. I got told that the first time when I was 10. What's this? The... I got my sister's elder. This is a true story. Look, they're all listening so quietly, and I can't believe I've backed myself into this corner. <laughs> oh, my God, what have I done? Okay, I have to continue. Yes. I was standing in a bathing suit, and my elder sister, who's nine years older than me, her boyfriend said, 
she's going to have a great ass when she gets older. So, can we say that on TV? Yes. I then went home yes. and inspected my backside from every angle and couldn't work out what they were talking about. Uh, I thought, well, what did they mean? Yes. But it's been like that ever since. So, no, I quite expect it from men. They often do one of those. Look at your uh, ass, yes, as you would say. Yes, my ass. Now, With the greatest of respect, of course. Did, am I right in thinking that you might have won uh, International oh, no. Ass of the Year? <laughs> I did. Mm. I did. Now, who won before you? Was, I, I think it might have been uh, one of the girls out of ABBA. Was, was... No, she never won it, actually. Didn't she? She didn't win oh, it. Or she no. might have been European Ars of the Maybe. Year. Maybe. <laughs> I was universal. You know? But you were the international Ars yeah. of the Year. Now, uh, was there a, some sort of presentation? or? Uh... <laughs> I mean, how was this acknowledged? Did uh, your agent um, was phoned up? Guess what? Susie's won it. They did. And then it came. Oh, what? They did, and I had to. I had to go. I got twenty pairs of blue jeans. Yes. Mm. Newly wrecked them. Yeah. Mm. That was a good joke. Yeah. I think I might have heard it before. Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether Steve Davis might have slipped that no, one in early he? tonight. Yeah. Did he really? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Without and, and that was without a cue. Well, I think yes, Steve won. Kid. I think Steve so, was. Uh, okay, I'm going to behave now. Go ahead. Was the British bum of the year, <laughs> right? I think, in about 1979. Yes. Oh, did you know that I played Hurricane Higgins? You played. I oh, played... sorry, I thought you meant in a theatre role. No, no. <laughs> As Hurricane Higgins tonight, Jesse Quattro. Now, acting roles. Yeah, how was uh, uh, Annie Get Your Gun? That was fantastic. That was yeah. one of the biggest thrills of my life because it was. Um, not a small part. It was like a big part. It was in the West End. I'd always wanted to do something like that. It was a challenge. Yes. I nearly died on the opening night. I was just nervous. Yes. And I put on the clothes and I stared in the mirror until I became Annie Oakley. But it was great. Now, you were, were known as the wild one. Yes, my dear. Now, in <laughs> Australia, Johnny O'Keefe was the wild one. Yeah, good style. Now, remember him? Do you yeah. remember Johnny O'Keefe? Yeah. Did you model yourself on his uh, style at all? Well, how does he look in leather? Well, he's dead now, but he looked down. Uh, <laughs> mm. mm. But he had a tremendous bum, people used to say. <laughs> did he? The bass. Why did you pick the bass as an instrument? And uh, I don't know if you've noticed our bass player, but he has seven strings on his bass. He does. Have you ever thought of the seven stringer, or are you sticking with the four? I have a six. You have a six string I do, bass? Yeah. Do you ever use the extra two strings? Uh, yeah, you do, but it's, I don't find it's really necessary for my thing yes. that I do in rock and roll. Right. I'm actually a trained uh, classical pianist, by the way, in case you didn't know that. I didn't know And that. a drummer. I read classical music and I read and play drums. So, And then I picked up the bass. I'm not a failed guitar player. I am a bass player, mm. which a lot of bass players are not. Yes. Well, that was a, so which must... maybe explains why he has so many strings. Maybe yes. he started on guitar. I don't know. Right. It seems an extraordinary thing, though. Uh, it would have done uh, when you began uh, for you know, a woman to play the bass. It seemed to me a singularly sort of masculine it, instrument. It was, it was. But, but I, I was little, so I got away with it. Right. But actually, it got given to me. It was all the girls together in a band. Yes. And um, everybody picked an instrument. It was my sisters and two other sisters. And I said, well, what am I going to play? Yes. And the big, tall sister, she's like six foot tall, she said, you're playing that. Mm. So yes. I picked it up. It stood as tall as me, and I started playing it. But I really like playing bass. I've been playing it for 33 years now. Yes. And how did you end up... I'm born in Detroit. How did you end up living in Essex? And how often do you get to Norwich? To Norwich? Yeah. I've played here quite a few times. Yeah. Yeah, different... Do you ever go and look at uh, Norwich? I mean, have you been to the mustard factory, or do you get to... Uh... <laughs> the mustard factory, no. Or do you have a look at the cathedral see. here, or any of that? Do you, it, get about, it, do you get about Norwich? Do you, have you got to know Norwich? No, <laughs> not, not really, but I have played here before. But I can't remember the gigs, but I have played in this area. And on that cheerful note, it's time to wish Susie a chance of the future. And I ask all Doghouse viewers, whether here in the Prince Charles or there at home, to get out their compilation of Susie's hits and jump up and down on them as a way of thinking Susie Quattro.